And so Travis Snyder leading it off. Here's the first pitch. Called strike on one. Okay, oh, listen, he's, he's made pitches. He's had, they've had a few base runners on against them, no question about it. They've got a few hits. But he's, not, he's been able to keep them from putting hit after hit after hit together. He's kept them off the scoreboard and let his defense do the work. Here's the pitch. Hit sharply towards the hole. And he'll step on the bag. That'll be the first out. Well, no runs so far, and he's been able to make every pitch he needs to to neutralize some of these big bats. Getting the job done, he looks like he's feeling good. And it's Aaron Sebia coming up. Struck out swinging his last time up. Here's a swing, and he pops him up. And Zobris going to play it. And Aaron Sebia is retired. Out number two. Now, Gary, for every pitcher, it's a little bit different. You know, how long they can go into a game. But right now, he still looks pretty strong right now. Two outs in the seventh. I think he's got a chance to shut them down the rest of the way. And it's Yonel Escobar now. He'll be seeking his first hit of the game. Not a lot of luck so far. Swing, hit. This one's to Upton. This one towards Johnson. And the side's retired as they head into the dugout. Now, Gary, he's in absolute control out there right now. And I have to suspect they're going to leave him in as long. And Casey Kochman to lead it off. Here's the pitch to Kochman. Sinker swung on, missed 0 and 1. Can you say ground ball? That's what that sinker down of the zone is meant to do. And Casey Kochman watching that one go by for a ball to even it. The one thing we know is he's not going to take a borderline pitch at 1 1. He likes to swing the bat. So I'm not giving him anything too fine and see if I can't get him to hit into an easy out. In there for strike two. Gary, he's a very aggressive hitter on a 1 2 count. He's going to swing at that borderline ball pitch. Two. So. I'm going to try to expand the strike zone right here. He deals. Ball three. Lays off, and it's full. And when he can keep that thing down and away, it's nearly impossible to hit. Payoff pitch. Line wow. towards third and foul. Now Aaron Sabia spots the pitch. Kochman fights off another during this at bat. Well, this is a great at bat right here, and you see that the seventh pitch of this at bat makes a great pitch on the hitter, just foul tips it. Now we have a greater battle going. Slider, that's taken, strike three, one away. Well, two strikes, that's exactly where the pitcher wants to put the ball. But as a hitter, you have to try to fight it off and make contact. And in the batter's box, Shopik. Look at the season average, 222 against the Jays. Taps this one foul off to the left. Outside for a ball, one and one. Uh, nobody on base right now with one out, and that's what you need. You need outs and maybe a break from base runners for a little bit here. How about a quick inning to get back in and score some runs? It's fouled off. Foul ball. Fouled off. Well, a great piece of hitting right there to stay alive in this at bat. A tough pitch. He fouls it off. Now he's hoping that the pitcher will make a mistake so he can drive one. Lays off there for a ball. Lined foul oh. towards third. Here it comes. And he oh. fouls off another one. A lot of times a pitcher just throws a pitch that you can't do anything with. The only thing you can do, especially in a 2-2 count, is try to put it in play, foul it off to keep the at-bat going. Aaron Sebia puts it away. Now look at the pitching staffs with the best ERA over the past 10. 
Brought to you by State Farm. The Yankees, number one. Second, the Indians. The Angels, third. Red Sox, fourth. And for the Blue Jays, they are in fifth. We take a look at these low ERAs, and I think it really points to the fact they have depth in their pitching staff. The starting pitching and the bullpen have been getting the job done, really limiting the opposition. Takes so much pressure off the offense. And Johnson lays off the low pitch. Well, they need a shutout, shutout inning right here to get back in there and score some runs. And at least looking like they got a chance to get through it without giving up some runs. Fastball low, 2-0. And he misses again, ball three. That's a good spot to miss with that thing, just off the corner. Strike Hoping one. for a free pass that time, but that fastball's in there, strike one. And he follows the unwritten baseball rule by not swinging with the big lead on the 3-0 count. Pitchers hate giving him up, but he's going to do that there. That's ball four. That was quite a battle, and he hates to lose this one. Those free passes can come back to haunt you. Plus, the pitching coach in the dugout counting your pitches right now. And that's going to bring Desmond Jennings to the plate. He flew out his last time up. Johnson's on at first. Jennings settles in. First pitch. Foul! That one goes foul. The pitch. Ball Good eye right there. Desmond Jennings. It's an even count. Well, you know what? I mean, it hasn't been flawless, but so far, they'll take it. Less base runners than outs in an inning for a change. Comes set. Now the 1-1. One -one. Swings and grounds this one foul. Wide a third. On the way. Two Ball two. two. We have to remember these middle relievers, they're not used to coming in and throwing over 45 pitches, but that's where he's at right now. You might see his control oh. run away from him a little bit right here. Oh. And he fouls another one off. But once you get this long in the at-bat and that pitcher throws you his best fastball and you foul it off, you'd have to think that you have the advantage as a hitter. Slider just about had him. 3-2 count. So if you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, it's a ground ball out. And that misses ball four. Well, you know the pitcher's really tired right now, and you have to think that his confidence is a little bit shaken. That long at bat right there, he had a chance to put the hitter away, and now he has to go from the stretch to try to keep this inning from getting out of hand. And it's Johnny Damon. First pitch to him. Damon will foul that one away. And that misses for a ball. Well, I mean, listen, they, they don't have great chances as it is trailing by this much in the game. But if they give up another couple base hits right here, they've got no chance. So two outs, find an out somewhere. Foul ball behind home plate. One-two pitch coming. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. That'll do it as they put that one away. So they can't push any across here in this half of the inning. 